is it limited motion or just pain? Pain, motion. So you, that's all you can go? That's it. Wow. Let's have you go face down. Oh, face down? No, no. What's that? So one of the areas I'm really working on getting more diligent about, so I don't waste time, is making sure they're organized right. And he is, so that's good. And let's have you go face down. And I, I already forgot which one it was. Nothing. Me. I'm going to have you just bring your heel to your butt. And his left knee touched strong. But he did a lot of activity down here in the foot when he was doing that. Like over here, pull. Because strong is good and weak is bad, right? Right there. Yeah. I don't know. Yes. I think the body has that built into it. So I'm going to say, I'm going to go out to his toes. Now pull. And when I get out of his foot, what that means is he's good on his hammy. I bring somebody else into the game. So he has something happen in this toe right here. And we don't know what that is. So I'm going to have you straighten this. It could be, a, um, I call them kinesial lines. It could be a kinesial line that goes up to his head. It could be a line that goes up to his sacrum. It could be a line that goes to his hip, to his shoulder, to the side of his head. And it is. It's a side line. So the good news about this work, right, Uncle? Oh, oh, oh. There's probably still some stuff to do in the hammy. But at least we got, ready, Uncle? He still got some work to do on that hamstring. And you can go and box him. Can you bring your heel to your butt? This is the bad knee? Yes. Oh, let's say turn over. So I didn't know this. We knew, oh, you strain the ligament, you can go back. Um, if you strain a ligament, then uh, you should rest it and uh, put some ice on it. And if it's bad enough, you send it to the doctor and he reconstructs it. But we didn't know this truth about ligaments. This is the bad one, right? Yes. I'm going to have you go that way. I'm going to have you go that way. Good. I'm going to have you go that way. Good. So he's all good. And the quads and the hammies go that way. Go this way. Go that way. Huh. He's all good that way. If I were to stretch this ACL ligament once and push up with this, he shouldn't get weak, but he does. If I were to stretch his ACL ligament, I test this muscle here, push up. It's strong. I stretch that ligament once. Stay strong. I stretch it three times and push. It takes me three times to make it weak. On this one, he's hypersensitive. This ligament's sending a wrong message to the brain somewhere. And probably in, out of sync with another ligament. So uh, I'm going to have you, and I will say Palomar is a genius, because the way we used to have to do it, we'd have to have him touch it, we'd have to find exactly the right spot. He's found a way for us to, you know, not, to not use uh, the patient involved in the game. So touch two fingers right here. Push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stretch that ligament. And when I stretch that ligament, he goes weak. Go here. So I'm checking it against different ligaments. So what I found was, you can go ahead and take your hand off that. Because ACL is out of synchronization with his infrapatellar ligament. Good. Let's go back to, uh, let's go face down and see if that hammy works any better now. I'm going to have you bring your heel to your butt. I didn't know there were corduroy G, G pants. Is that a new stop? I thought it was one of the It's always up on that thing, huh? Pretty cool. How's that feel? It feels pretty good. Um, pull it here. Uh -huh. okay. Bring it to here. That's, where's the pain flat? In the muscle itself? Yeah. Good and pull. Yeah. Now, this is something that, like I said, that guy who isn't a chiropractor or board certified kinesiologist humbled me with. He goes, Yeah, here's the hamstring test as we learned it, but it might be weak here. And on this side, he's not. But in this one, because in AK, this is blasphemy. You don't do muscle testing not out of the book. Because we want to be legitimate, we want doc doc we don't want doctors. They're already saying bad things. We think if we got good enough or helped enough people, they would start accepting us. They're never going to. Cool. So I'm going to just see why that is. When I touch right here, the sacro tuberous ligament, that makes it stronger. So that tells me it's a ligament, not talking to another ligament, right? Can you touch one finger right here? Stay there.
muscle itself. Where do you feel it at now in the muscle? The hand still. Oh. Uh, all of it? Yeah. Have you done anything to it? Oh. Have, have you been icing it or anything? No. No. All right. How long have you had it? Since I got the surgery. Wow. Oh, yeah. Sure. Right. Come, come by the office a little bit more, okay? Okay. Um, I'll touch two fingers here. So <laughs> this is, I'm going to, oh, right there. I'm going to go into some work on his hamstring itself. Yeah, his pressure receptors on his hand here are wrong. I'm going to have you hold this uh, tuning fork in the other hand. Couldn't put your other hand there. Nope. Put your other hand back on the neck. Hold that. Hold here. And there it is. Okay. So I use, uh, you'll see our treatment for it is super simple. All we do is we hit a reflex. I play with a lot of reflexes. I did the blink reflex, and you know some people get pissed when you do that to them. And then I, I usually do what's most convenient for me. So here I did the heel. There's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight reflexes that I know about. There's probably some other ones too. But you can hit any one of those reflexes. It kind of re-coordinates the brain. Can you pull your other button? Is it still painful? Nope. How about now? Nope. How about nope. that? Um, let's have you walk and see if that changes. Okay. What is it that makes it hurt? The bending. Oh, does it still hurt on oh. bending? Um, not now. No. Can you fire? What? Can you kick your rear end? Can I kick my rear end? Well, go like this? No. Let's go like this, because uh, he probably, is, so you hurt your knee how long ago? Five years ago, six, eleven. So he's been going with this for five or six years. Where was the surgery? Five or six years, five or six years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lock him into, go here. Go like this. And he does have a muscle that needs to be rehabilitated on the front of the body. Let me see if I can find an elemental problem in him. Um, I'm going to touch the pulse points in acupuncture. He goes weak on fire. Um, it'll be either this, push up. Just that. Maybe here, push up. Good. Can I have your back? Sure, he shows a weakness in the gluteus medius. If he were to touch right here, probably this muscle will turn on. Push out. But remember, we, we said we wanted to find out if this is maybe it's related to this whole gait thing. He's been walking around like this for five years. I'm going to have you come here. I'm going to have you go like this. Do uh, 20 of these. This is nice and easy. Go all into full extension. So my hypothesis is that I'm going to say he rehabs that so his gluteus medius turned on. And that's the hard part. Which is more important, the nerve or the acupuncture meridian? Push out. Yeah. So when he does that exercise, it turns on the gluteus medius. So you do need to work out that quad. Okay. Okay, for a little while. Couldn't stand and see if just working out that quad did anything on the uh, range of motion. Yeah, pretty good. So there's probably more. I'm going to call all that uh, neurologic debris. Neurologic debris. The body has some injury. It doesn't know how to deal with it. It's done. It's that, you know, the coyote loses his arm in the woods. He starts dragging it. And then, you know, you know, he pulls himself forward with his chin and catches other things with this arm. And, you know, survival. So we're a much more sophisticated survival. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. Okay. Thanks, Jeremy.